WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to another 2 p.m. update here at TFNN. And, of course, we've got uh, a little bit more of a bounce than we had on Friday. A um, little more than I thought of. Uh, we'll be going through it uh, on the show. But uh, a lot of resistance, just slightly higher than we are at now. We were up uh, somewhere around in the mid-3950s or so uh, for the high I suspect today, I think that's correct. Yeah, 3950 and 57 cents. So not quite there. Uh, anyway, it was about 25 points higher than I thought. So, uh, you know, we're probably going to have to sit around 3900 for a while and consolidate the uh, bounce higher uh, if we are going to go higher. Uh, but uh, so far, volume has uh, been kind of light most of the day. Um, we've got about 6.7 billion shares as uh, we start 2 o'clock. So is it bad? No. Is it uh, good? No. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. So there's not a lot going on, um, at least for indications. Uh, of course, uh, a little bit more of the bounce. We've got two big things that is really kind of putting a little optimism in the market. Uh, one is uh, China reopening and uh, getting rid of the lockdowns. Uh, there's a lot of thought that there's uh, some uh, spent, uh, uh, money that's going to come out, much like uh, when we really started getting out of the lockdown. Uh, the other thing is the uh, speaker post uh, in the uh, U.S. Uh, House probably means a lot, a lot of gridlock on financial spending. And, of course, uh, markets always love that. Uh, gives uh, them, uh, the uh, House members a lot of time uh, to point their guns at each other instead of us. But uh, mostly it's going to make it a great deal easier for the Fed across the next couple of years. Uh, we got some other big buyouts. We'll talk about that. A big crypto ruling and how gold is going to be affected in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be